I just want to clarify the government that uh, they're not using us, they're not using us to fight for them. We want to do something because we have, we have seen the impact in our lives. The, um, it's been easy for us because we're living here in the village and we don't have to go to Suva or go to Western to look for work. You know, the job opportunities is right here in our doorstep and it's very easy. Even now with the kids, with our children are working now. Some of us, some of them have uh, left school last year and they started working here in December and they're still here. So I think everybody's happy with this, with what the company has done to us, to the locals, to the villagers. They have. And uh, one thing I want to know, they, they want to say is that <clears throat> they have been empowering us women. <laughs> we don't have to go far to go and look for, you know, you, living in the village, you know, living in the village, you have to go fishing. But right now, with work, working here, you know, it's empowering us to work hard and be self-sufficient. They treat us as family. They really treat us as family. You know, some people say that uh, you might be treated differently. No. No, they treat us as family. What the kitchen ladies, they cook, we eat together. Even the president, when he's here, we sit together in the dining hall and we eat together. There's no, no differences about the food, eh? Uh, my name is Sasana Danuku. I'm 45 years old and I'm five years now with Grace. Uh, I started here in 2018 and I'm still now. During uh, COVID, I was working full time. <laughs> all of us, all in, I'm in the bakery department. Eh? But job opportunities in Navo, it's very limited. People have to go to Suva or Western to go and look for a job. But now when they set up this business here, all of us in Funimbao, we are uh, husbands and wives, are all working here. Now without children are coming. They don't have to go far.